Welcome to Wildlife Acoustics. This quick start video is designed to get up and running with the SongMeter SM4 within minutes. I've just taken delivery of a SongMeter SM4 acoustic recorder. I'll open the box and I see a printed manual and quick start checklist. On the reverse side of the checklist is a description of Kaleidoscope Pro software. Once you've made recordings with the song meter, Kaleidoscope Pro is an excellent way to analyze and manage those recordings. I'll take the SM4 out of the box to get it ready for recording. The SM4 can run on internal or external batteries. I'll open the security cover and then open the front panel to expose the battery compartment. I'll insert four D-cell batteries. Make sure the batteries are inserted with the correct polarity. I'll close up the battery compartment and insert an SD memory card. SD memory cards come in a variety of storage capacities and there are two memory card slots on the SM4 to extend recording time even further. I'll set the power switch to internal and the SM4 boots up. It's not usually a requirement, but it's also not a bad idea to initialize the memory card. I'll scroll to the Utilities menu, press the right arrow button to enter Utilities. I'll scroll down to Format All Cards and confirm the operation. This will initialize all memory cards currently inserted into the SM4. It's also not a requirement for basic operation, but I am going to set the location of the SM4. Metadata is written to the recording files describing the date time and location of when and where those recordings were made. Also, if you want to use a recording schedule that references sunrise and sunset times, you do need to have accurate date and location information. Date, time, and location can be manually entered under the settings menu. For this video, I'm going to use the available GPS accessory to do the work for me. Before I use the GPS accessory, I'll scroll down in the location menu to the time zone UTC setting. GPS time is based on the universal time coordinated standard. I'm currently on the east coast of the United States during daylight savings time, which is four hours behind the UTC. So I'll set the UTC to minus four hours. I'll press the enter button to save that setting now I'll connect the GPS accessory to the SM4. The GPS accessory acquires the satellite signal and programs the date, time, and location into the SM4. You see the current location, date, and time has been entered. I can now disconnect the GPS accessory and the SM4 will remember those settings. Before I press the schedule start button, I'll press the check status button. The front panel display of the song meter shows the date and time. The next line shows the current firmware revision. You can check the Wildlife Acoustics website to make sure you have the current firmware installed. The SM4 has two built-in microphones and they are listed and active. If I connect one or two external microphones, the SM4 would automatically sense and list those microphones. The third line shows the two memory card slots. You can see I have a blank 16 gigabyte card in slot A and no memory card installed into slot B. The fourth line shows the current battery voltage and the current internal temperature of the SM4. From the factory, the song meter is set to record continuously as soon as the schedule start button is pressed. I'll press the button and the SM4 goes into record mode. You can see the flashing light to indicate the recording is in progress. The front panel displays the date and time and a message confirming that the song meter is currently recording. The third line shows the next recording will be to the memory card in slot A. The start and stop times of the record schedule are displayed. You can see that the SM4 is currently set for continuous recording. And the number on the right displays how many new record files have been created since the SM4 was last powered on. The last line shows that the SM4 is recording in stereo at a sample rate of 24 kilohertz. I'll press the schedule stop button to stop the recording and it's that simple. The SD memory card can be used to export the recording files to a computer for analysis. 
If I want to choose a different recording schedule, I can enter the Quick Start menu and I see a list of commonly used recording schedules. If I want to customize a daily recording schedule or create an advanced recording schedule, I have those options also. All that's left to do is deploy the SM4 and press the Schedule Start button. The SongMeter SM4 is a sophisticated device and has many customizable options. It's a good idea to read through the user guide, and Wildlife Acoustics has also published a series of videos that explain all the features of the recorder in detail. In the meantime, it's taken about five minutes to get the SongMeter SM4 out of the box and ready to go.